All right guys, if you saw the last Rogue Wave video, you saw Cody's boat broke down, the engine locked up, and we figured out why, and I bet almost none of you have ever seen anything like this before. If you've never seen one of our videos before, you can still play along and see if you can figure out what went wrong with Cody's boat. So I'm gonna give you all the symptoms and see if you can guess. So Cody took off on the 4th of July. They made it about a mile. He got an overheat alarm, something like 250 degrees on the gauge. So he slowed down, turned the boat off, waited about 10 minutes, went to see if it would start again, and the engine was locked up. It's just a starter. I'm not having enough juice. And a couple days later, the boat turns over fine, but it won't run. It just pops every once in a while. No. So why would that happen? I'm gonna give you a little hint. This might help. Map gas, Texas beer. It's empty except for a little bit of water, a dish full of water. This might save someone from throwing away a perfectly good boat engine. Here we go. Nice. All right, so that is what happened to Cody's engine. So I'm gonna take you guys back to a couple weeks ago where we're troubleshooting this thing. And then I'll be back at the end to show you exactly what happened. I headed over to Cody's so we could troubleshoot his boat engine, and we figured we would start with the easiest things first, like checking for spark and then checking for fuel. Hey, Cody wants to try spark plug test first. That on the plug wire, that on the plug. Yeah, See it should if light up. A little sparky. Got it hooked up. All right, let's zoom in on that. Here we go. Fire in the hole. That's weak looking. Well, it sparked a little bit. I know, but it looks really weak. All right, we're gonna check spark one more time. Got jumper cables. So we've got a ground hooked up to the battery. Other end hooked up to the spark plug so that we know we've got a good ground. That's some crappy orange. Weak ass spark. So just so you guys know, spark should be nice bright blue, right? Not this orange. Yeah, that's yeah, that's no no good. So either their plugs are crap, or yeah, maybe it got so hot the coil coil is shot. That could be an option. Let me pull that distributor cap. I think. What do you think? Before we go any further, just pull see. the distributor cap. Yeah. I don't know what I'm really hoping to find under here because well, it doesn't make sense. It ran no. great. It it's not horrible, but it ain't good. It's not super clean, but it's it's not horrible. How's the rotor look? <laughs> okay. All right. It is spinning, so you still have at least a timing chain in the front. Whether it's on the right teeth or not. Yeah, it could have jumped timing. Do me a favor. Okay. Uh, turn the key on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then flip that red switch up for a second. Oh, this one? Yeah. Oh, you gonna see if we got a little fuel pressure? Whoa! Whoa. Ooh. Yeah, we got... <laughs> fuel pump is good. Fuel pump check. Did you get some in your face? No, but no? It's, it's gas. That is gas, I can smell that it. That is premium. All right, next thing, it's always good to do, pull all your spark plugs. This will tell you a lot, usually. So here's plug number two. It smells like fuel, but, you know. Looks like a normal plug. Second one there. Cody just noticed this one is arced, not with fuel. I think that's arced together with water, sir. Cody bought him a new bore scope here, Harbor Freight Special, so we can get into each cylinder here and see what it looks like. See if there's a hole in a piston. The cylinder wall's scratched up. If I can find the hole. If you could find the hole. It's a big block. Well. Doesn't that mean the spark plug hole's bigger than a small block? No. No. Not necessarily. You're in. What I do you see? Man. What is that? Is that gunk? What the heck is that? Corrosion? Or pits? Or just some gunk? I don't know. Whoa! 
Oh, don't do it anymore. Oh. Hang on. Pop okay. it. Let's try and get the piston to the bottom. Okay. There we go. Okay. Valve's open. Point that down at your piston, eh, there. I'm trying. Hang on. I gotta get a little bend in this whole scenario. How'd you like to be a proctologist? Next, we're gonna do a compression test. You can skip right to this if you don't have a fancy camera. This is an old gauge from the 80s. Still works fine. All right, let's see what we get. <laughs> 120-ish or a little below, 115. Last cylinder, this is number, number seven. seven. Here we go. Let's see what we get. So a little lower. A little lower, okay. So compression is great on every single cylinder. I'm gonna change the reading here. Cylinder two is 115. So they are all 115 to 120 PSI. So the mystery continues. So we had spark. Compression is great in all of these. Uh, one plug looked like it had some water on it. We still don't know why the engine won't run, but we know it overheated, so we need to find the cause of that. So we'll pull the raw water pump off, see if it's got a blade missing, something like that. If that's fine, then I'll be real confused then. Okay. Oops. Half inch. Trying to undo your water pump hoses here. Can't even see them. Do you want to mark these? Because they're never going back on the right way. Tell you what, go look at the new ones, see if the hoses are the same. Oh, is it here? Isn't it? Under your seat. Left hand rotation, which is normal rotation engine. Left hand out. So here's your out. So that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. That's all we need to know. Oh, there's water coming out of something. So it had water coming up to it. Yeah. All right. Whew. Okay, you get to take this thing apart here. All right. So, all right, so one, looks like one blade broke off. This is what happened in the houseboat. This is 100% my fault. If it's easy to do, guys, change these things. Yeah. Every other year, at least. Yep. And I didn't. You didn't. It had been two years. Oh, yeah. Oh. There we go. Whoa. So. Look at that. And that little thing right there will cost you one of them little things right there. Yeah, it'll cost you $14,000. Probably. I mean, that explains the overheating. We still don't know why this engine won't run. Compression is good on all cylinders. It's got fuel and it's got spark. It's got fuel and it's got spark. All right, guys, last thing we're gonna do, take the oil filter off, cut it open, see if we've got metal shavings in there. If we do, we know the engine is about done. Oil was changed before this year, new filter. So whatever is in here is from this year. All right. Oh, dude, is that water? That's water. Oh no. All right, heads are coming off. That was water. Oh no. Oh, there it is. Oh no. There it is. Dun, dun, dun. There ain't, no, there ain't even no need to cut that open. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to cut it open? Oh! There it is. Oh! All right. Oh, no. Well, at least now we know that it's not dilly-dallying and wasting money on stupid shit. Now it's tearing into the fucking thing. Okay. See how bad the damage is. Oh! All water. <laughs> it's all water! That was all water. There's no oil! <laughs> Uh, how, does, how does it not have too much? Because the oil levels. Oil level looked all right. I mean. 
All right, guys, so it's been a couple weeks since we were working on Cody's boat, and now I think there might not be anything wrong with his engine. So I found a post on a boating message board from 2003, so 19 years ago, and this guy brought up a scenario when the engine overheats, how water can get into the engine, and there's nothing wrong with the engine. So we're gonna find out if this is true or not. I'm gonna go over to Cody's right now. We're gonna change the oil, put some spark plugs in it, and we think it might be okay. So we're gonna go find out. I'm taking you guys with me, so let's get going. Cody got some stainless spark plugs. This is our last shot, see if it'll run, because it had good compression. It had a little bit of spark, but these plugs look like crap. So, throw these plugs in. Yeah, I got the old hand pump. You can hear it, but that is just nothing but water coming through that line right now. This second batch is looking like, oh yeah. Okay, we got all the plugs in. Let's see if we get something different. Sounds fine. There ain't nothing wrong with this motor. So now that the engine is running, we're gonna head up to the lake and we're gonna put some miles on this thing. All right guys, we are up here at the lake to do a sea trial on the Mariah. Cause we think it's fixed, right? Maybe. <laughs> we don't know. Of course, it said 0% chance of rain yesterday, and now it's raining today. We got a few hours of daylight left, so we'll find the right window. We'll get it out there, see what happens. That is roughly where you broke down last time, Cody. Up there, about a mile that, away. That, that's our- uh, That's your goal? That's our goal to beat right there. Okay, one mile. All right guys, after all the work, we're gonna see if this thing runs. Runs enough to get out of the marina and make it a mile. Are you a little nervous? Not really. I mean, not really. It. You've broken down enough times that. Yeah. That it's, am I concerned yeah. it's going to break down? Yeah. But yeah. What do you do? Yeah. Plug is in. Oh, got it. It seems fine. Temp is 100. Oil pressure is good. Volts are 12. Okay. Open your hatch, I'll do a little look in here. Okay. That manifold is cold. That's good. That manifold's cold. Cold, cold, cold. Get heat in the main hose. No blow by. Then we got into an impromptu drag race with an outboard pontoon with 10 people on it that was doing 50 miles an hour somehow. Supposed to hit the bottle. Oh, 
So we put about 50 miles on the boat and it ran better than it ever has. And Cody seemed happy, but I still need to explain to you guys why it broke down in the first place. All right guys, I'm back at the shop. So Cody's boat ran great, but what was wrong with it? So it's thanks to that message board post that I told y'all I found. This guy said when these boats overheat, they can pull a vacuum on the exhaust as they cool down and draw lake water up into the engine. So there's nothing wrong with the engine at that point. It's just that you've got water in the cylinder. So I got a little demonstration I'll show you guys so I can help it make sense. Here's one of the engines out of the houseboat, same kind of thing. So water's coming in from the lake into the raw water pump and being circulated through the engine, into the exhaust manifolds, up through the riser, and out with the exhaust into the lake. All right, so I got a little heating flask, just a little bit of water in the bottom, a hose, this represents the exhaust, going out into the water, got it colored blue so it's easy to see. So imagine this top part is the riser. Now when the impeller broke, water stopped circulating through the engine and whatever water was left in the exhaust manifold started to boil. All right, so as soon as Cody kills the engine on the boat and we stop, we let the engine cool down. What's happening is that steam starts to condense. It pulls a vacuum on the exhaust, starts pulling lake water back up. Once it gets to the top, it can come over into the exhaust and fill every cylinder with water. Woo! It's just a starter. I'm not having enough juice. So we wait till the next day. The water has then drained past the rings in each cylinder into the oil pan and the engine turns over again. All the spark plugs have rusted, so there's a bad spark, not enough to let the engine run. No. So now you think the engine's ruined because you've got water mixed with the oil. It doesn't run. But all we had to do was change the spark plugs, drain the oil, engine's good as new. So how many people do you think have had their engine hydro lock and then thrown away a perfectly good boat or boat engine because they saw water in the oil and thought the engine was totally ruined when there was nothing wrong with it? I'm curious if anyone's ever seen that before. If not, hopefully you learned something. And thank you to that random guy on the message board for posting that 20 years ago. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.